Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me once again for another episode of Diecast Emporium. As you can tell from the title in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at two of the brand new Ford vehicles from Walther's Scene Master, specifically the two Fire Command vehicles. First, we'll be taking a look at the Ford Crown Victoria. And then we will be taking a look at the Ford Expedition Special Service Vehicle. So let's go ahead and unbox these and then we'll put them on the spinny table and take a closer look at them. First up, we have item number 949-12020. Again, these are brand new additions to the Walther's catalog and brand new releases for December 2020. And I personally have been highly anticipating these since they were announced a couple months ago. Uh, Walther's has an extensive range of fire vehicles and HO scale, but they have been missing chiefs and command vehicles, uh, especially just red blank ones. As you can see on the back, it reads Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor Fire Command with decals 949-12020. There's your copyright information. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open and take a closer look at it. Underneath you have your decal sheet. Now, I believe these are water slide decals, so you can opt to cut these off out as you can see here and not only do they have fire chief logos and fire department logos but you can see some police and state police logos if you want to put that on your crown victoria so very cool inclusion all right here's the car now as you may expect with it being an ho or 187 scale model it is pretty tiny so let's bring in our table here it is should we focus it in frame and there's the car. All right, so the majority of the casting is plastic, but that's all right. You can see that the color red is a little bit darker of a red than is typically used with the Walther's fire trucks. And if I can get a comparison, there you can see very clearly that it is a little bit darker of a red than they typically use on their other Walther's trucks. And at the end of this video, will go through their entire lineup to date of Walther's Fire Vehicles. If you are new or if you are just starting your train layout, you'll get to see what's out there. But back to the Ford Crown Victoria, I do like that they pretty much left it bare bones. That allows those customizers out there to add whatever fire department decals suit their own personal city, town, or village. The wheels are pretty accurate with what I would consider... Uh, 2000s, late 90s, 2000s Crown Victoria wheels to look like. There's the bumper, which with a little decal, if you wanted to make yourself, you can add the blue oval to it. Underneath, that's what the chassis looks to, like. And again, the wheels on here appear to be rubber, but everything else is plastic. And there's your standard bar light up on top. Let it spin around one more full rotation before we shift our attention to the Ford Expedition. Closing thoughts. Again, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, if I had to make a slight suggestion for improvement, I really wish they would have made this match the rest of the Red Fleet for their uh, Walther's Scene Master fire trucks. It is substantially different in terms of the shade of red that they used, but again, for those that customize their own fleets or may, you know, respray this a different color, it's not going to make that big of a difference to you. Uh, but I was very, very surprised to see just how different it is. Okay, next up, we have the Ford Expedition Special Service Vehicle, or SSV. There's the packaging for it, as you can see on the back. We have Ford Expedition Special Service Vehicle SSV Fire Command with decal. Item number for this for your Walther's catalog or for reference at your hobby dealer is 949-12040. Here's this if you need that. All right, let's crack it open. Same thing. You have your identical decal sheet that, that comes with the Crown Victoria. If I can get it separated here from the instructions. There we go. And if you've never added decals, it's kind of neat that they include a little instructions sheet. So we'll just go over that real quick. After cutting out the decal, dip in water for 10 seconds, remove and let stand for one minute, slide decal onto surface, position and carefully blot off any excess water. Lightly brush microsole on top. This will soften the decal, allowing it to conform to irregular surfaces. Do not touch decal while wet. Number three, when decal is thoroughly dry, check for any trapped air bubbles. 
prick them with the point of a small pin or hobby knife, blade, and apply more. Microsol. So there you go. That's instructions on how to apply some water slide decals to your models. Okay, back to the Ford Expedition. This is obviously based on a mid to late 90s version of the Ford Expedition, which works for any modern or contemporary layout, especially if you are modeling a volunteer fire department that may still have these in their fleet. Again, same story, different verse in terms of the shade of red. Again, there's no camera trickery here. There's no lighting. You can see that it is very different from the standard fire department red that's used on the other vehicles. Rubber wheels. I do like the fact that this one does have a Ford logo right in the center of the grill. It's very difficult to tell on HO scale, but at least there's an attempt to replicate it. On the back, you have a bumper here and molded into the casting, which would look great with a highlight of a black paint pen is your um, rear mirror windshield wiper. On top, you have a roof rack which again is casted into the casting, your light bar, and somewhat of a detailed plastic interior. So there you have it, collectors. That's a very brief unboxing and recap of two of the newest Walther Scene Master HO vehicles. Again, both of these are officially licensed Ford products. Uh, very highly anticipated and looked forward to by me. And I have to say, besides really the shade of paint, they don't disappoint. Again, if that bothers you that much, you can always disassemble these and spray them with the correct paint code of red. Now, not to disappoint anybody, I do want to quickly, very quickly, go over all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the other Walther's Scene Master fire trucks that are currently available uh, at your hobby dealer or in the Walther's catalog for fire trucks. So let's begin. First, we have the International 4300 EMS Ambulance. Do like this casting a lot. Move this out just a tiny touch. There we go. Um, once again, a very detailed ambulance based on the Durastar type cab from International. Uh, the decals that you see on this actually come with the casting. They have not been added aftermarket, so bear that in mind. The only thing that I did change with this is that I added some newer style wheels. They come with this style wheels, so you can see that they are a little bit different. So that's the ambulance moving on. How about that for a segue? We have the International 4900 Fire Department Utility Truck, which is this. You can see this is a crew cab fire truck with a stake bed. I did add the trailer hitch on the back because in my collection, my layout, this is used to pull our fire boat trailer as well as our decon trailer or really any other fire department trailer that we have. This is the truck that's used to pull it. So that's the utility truck. Next, I like this casting a lot because... One of our local fire departments here, actually in the real world, has a vehicle that looks exactly like this. This is the International 4900 First Response Fire Truck. Uh, they call it in the real world the IRV, or the Emergency Response Vehicle, and it gets called out to mostly traffic accidents or um, sometimes fires and things like that if there's not an engine immediately available to be sent. But a nice casting. You can see the roll-up doors. Once again, it is a crew cab vehicle. Nice fire extinguishers on the back that the crew might be able to just grab and go, especially if it's just a small fire, like a kitchen fire or something. So very nice truck indeed. All right. So truth be told, this is not the version that's available in the Walther's catalog. It is the same casting, but it has a black, I think it's black over red cab. Uh, I do not have that version yet in my collection, but this is the same type vehicle. They call this the International 4300 Brush Truck. Once again, has the crew cab. You have a little bit of a rear-mounted pump, which is really cool on this. You can see the detail there. And some hose reels and stuff on top. Obviously a very, very specialized vehicle for only certain emergencies. All right, halfway done. This is one of two engines that Walther Scene Master has. This is the 4900 fire engine. So again, a little bit older of a fire truck. Another crew cab vehicle. You have your uh, pumps here, some hoses here, uh, your hose lines back here on this side, some roll-up cabinets, and then your different ladders up here. And obviously a searchlight and a monitor on this side, and some quick attack lines over here. 
very detailed truck. And although this is, you know, based on late 80s into the 90s style international trucks, many of these pumpers are still in service throughout the country even today. All right, want a modern day pumper? As in, you can still order these brand spanking new. Well, here you go. Walters calls it the heavy duty fire engine. Specifically, it is based on the Spartan cab. And as you'll see, there's the Spartan cab associated with the hazardous material truck and the heavy duty ladder, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. This is the heavy duty engine. Once again, you have the ladder on this side, no monitor or anything, nice hose lines and stuff on top. Um, there's the front of it and the other side, once again, some detail as well. Okay. This is the aforementioned hazardous material truck, which can really be utilized as not only a hazardous material truck, but also a heavy rescue, which is what I use it for uh, in my fire department. Searchlights and things on top, rear entry, ladder on the back, numerous cabinets, tool cabinets and stuff throughout. And can't emphasize this enough, based on the same Spartan cab that you see even today. And to close out the video, this is the heavy-duty ladder truck, which technically would be a quint because it has a pump with water. Now, immediate suggestions for me, if anybody from the Walther's family happens to be watching. Obviously, 2021 model year is done. Everything's pretty much already been announced in, in the production. But for 2022, obviously, we need a dedicated ladder truck for this lineup. Uh, either a tower ladder or a 100-foot rear mount uh, three-axle heavy-duty ladder truck, which I have a custom in my collection. You guys have already seen that. But a properly made one would really round out this collection very, very well. And then, obviously, recycle the Boldy tooling for the water tanker. Obviously, some of these are old recycled Boley tooling, so they obviously have access to the old Boley molds. So bringing back the water tanker should be somewhat easy. As always, guys, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all for watching this video. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions of your own, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.